Hello, hello everyone and welcome to our Arizona homestead. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It has been a while since I've been in the garden. We're going to head out there right now. There's going to be some positive things and there's going to be some challenges, but always a lesson learned. So let's head into the garden and see what's really going on. And by the way, happy spring. It's finally here, y'all. Here we go. So we're going to have to clear this path later on, but we're not doing that right now. That's no fun. Let's go in here and find out what's going on. And I have my harvest basket because we're going to harvest some things. Well, if you remember, this is where we had our sweet potatoes. All right. So nothing's going on right there but the rent. So, okay, moving on. Opportunity there. We got a grow bed here. I've got to set up the water for it, but I've got another grow bed ready here and one here. So spring has promised y'all. Here we go. Woo. Yeah, once again, the weeds have taken over the mint. Here's the mint here, and it's doing very nicely. Okay, but the, look at this one. This mint, one of them spearmint and one of them's peppermint, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know which is which, but ooh, I think this one smells more spearminty. Oh yeah, that's nice. Roses snapping back, love it. Take a look at this. Pow, yes y'all. The collards are popping off, popping off. Ooh, they are trying to go to seed. Oh no, you don't. No, 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 no. You see that? Do you see that? We gotta clip that off today, y'all. I know you see those two rows of onions. I'll uh, show you the video here of me planting these beautiful red onions. And they are looking good. They're standing up nice and tall now. I think they're gonna do great. And it's free pest control. That's what the blessing is from onions. All right, first order of business is get rid of this flowering part at the top, just like that. Oh my, look at some of these huge leaves. Oh yeah, we gotta get these. I gotta show you these. Oh my goodness. This one, oh my. Look at the size of these beautiful leaves. Let me give you Something to reference that by. Yes, y'all, yes. Look at that. That is incredible. Look at these beautiful, whoops, dropping them. Beautiful collard greens. Oh my goodness. Beautiful harvest, oh yeah. Okay, let's get those in a bag. Alrighty, here we go. Oh yeah, very, very nice. Huge leaves as well. Hopefully you can see that. That's a pretty nice harvest, my mother-in-law. I think she's gonna really enjoy all those collard greens. Before we leave this area, check out the curry tree still doing really good but we've got to get it out of this pot here I think that's really limiting it so time to start thinking about where we want to put our curry tree hmm this is what happens when you get that warmth things start going to seed you know I had an opportunity to harvest these when they were small heads and I thought oh I'm gonna let them get bigger and this is what happened I waited too long and now I just have a bunch of seeds here coming in these have completely gone to seed I'm gonna snap them off and I hope that just maybe I have an opportunity to grow something before it gets too too warm Wow the stalk on this is outrageous I will show you a picture of how the head was it was such a pretty uh, head of cauliflower and I just waited too late like I said I thought oh I'll wait a little bit and let it get bigger Mm, that's what happens. But while we're on the styrofoam raised garden bed row, let's go ahead and discuss it, because here we are. This is the purple of Sicily cauliflower as well. Here we have also more of the purple of Sicily cauliflower. In the next one, we have kohlrabi, and we got some earlier this year. Let's see how it's going right now. 
Let's see, this is a purple, purple uh, kohlrabi. Looks like that one is trying to form. This one over here started to form. And this is our first time growing kohlrabi. And if you haven't seen that video of me making the kohlrabi fries, you should watch it. It was a lot of fun and they were delicious. That one looks like it's trying to form. The next cooler here, I know you see it. Look at that beautiful purple kale. I will probably harvest some of that very soon and make some kale chips. Let's see what's happening with this carrot right here. I had planted more, but it looks like only one decided it wanted to take hold, I guess. Let's see if it's, what's happening with it. Oh man, it's, it's, it's gnarlage. Look at that. This was the um, nebula, I believe, carrot or something like that. I'll put the name of it up on the screen. They were also purple. I was really into a purple theme. I love purple. So I was into a purple theme with all the purple cauliflower, purple kale, purple kohlrabi. I was really in a purple mood. I love purple. But look at that. That is awesome. And the last cooler, some more purple kale, as well as more onions. Okay, so let's take a look in this direction back down the row. Isn't that beautiful? Back here we have two rows we skipped over. This one right here. This is our purple cabbage. Look at that. I am hoping that that makes it before it gets too hot. It's starting to get very warm. I kind of hope this would have been a little further along. I'll put the plant date up there. I thought I would have these much further along than now. But no. But check out that big onion right there. Just leaving it there. It's just hanging out. Pest control. These are our peppers. We have started some jalapenos. We got some jalapeno starts. They kind of suffered a little during the cold snap that we had. Well, the roller coaster, warm cold snap, warm cold snap. It was crazy. But anyway, that tall one right here is a lemon tree. It started to die at first, but look at it now. It's coming back. So we need to figure out where we're going to plant our lemon tree. So right here we have our purple kohlrabi. Look at that. I thinned it out here. I thinned out some kale here. See that? There was a lot of water here, so I just started thinning out plants and putting them in. There's some more of the, of the cauliflower coming in there, as well as purple kale. All the way down the road there, I just thinned out what was in the styrofoam coolers. I thinned them out and put them under here, under our Tabasco peppers, which as you see, have kind of suffered from the cold, but they'll be back, no worries. Okay, right here, here we are. But why use the call Pepper Town? Lots of peppers. We have our Tabasco. People, I'm telling you, Tabascos go crazy. You see all those red peppers. We, we just really couldn't keep up with a lot of the Tabascos. It was outrageous how much they grew and how fast they grew. Underneath here, we have a, a five color pepper that you see it's kind of had a difficulty with the cold too. But very soon, now that it's warming up, these will be springing back. This is a cottonwood tree that we were gifted by our neighbor, so we need to find a place to plant it. It's very nice, doing very well. And this here is Chili Diablo. Oh, over there, I didn't point out, there was a, that one right there, that's a, I believe that's the Chiltepine pepper. All the other ones are jalapenos, but that one's different. This right here, look at that. We have our jalapenos, we love jalapenos. And like I said, the Tabasco is just, love this area and just go crazy here. They just love it, love it, love it. All right, going around the corner here, we have, as you see, I was pulling off some of the peppers because this plant, we had an issue with water line. As you can see, it kind of struggled for a little bit. That one will start coming back very soon as well. Here are some more Tabasco peppers. Next to those, we have Serranos. And as you can see, it's very productive. Very productive on the Serrano peppers. Like I said, usually we can't keep up with the peppers. So, lots of peppers happening. Now, this one we had an issue with watering for a second, as you can see. This was the purple, one of the purple cayennes. Um, I do see that it's trying to come back right there. The same here, same situation. We'll just cut those back and give them a chance to start over. But here's the rest of the purple cayenne peppers and they're doing well. They are so delicious and so colorful and pretty. I just, like I said, purple, my favorite color. So it was a purple year for the garden. This one's flowering again. That's wonderful. This is also 
a purple cayenne pepper plant and it's doing quite well. Yeah, this is a Jay's peach. I think it's a ghost or scorpion pepper. There's one right there. That's what this plant is and it looks like it's really starting to come back very nicely. And here's our three Criolla Sella peppers. This, these seeds were given to me by Diva Jones 3 I always thank her. I just really appreciate that she sent these to us and they are so good. Let me tell you, they are good. So we have those there. Check out her channel too. This is the Jay's Peach. And so is this one over here and they're coming back nicely. And also over there. And that one is really starting to bush up and come back. That is nice, that's exciting. What a wonderful spring day. Take a look. There's an overview of the garden and there's a ton of things that you can plant in March. I will put a list up for zone nine, which is what we're in, zone nine, smack dab in the middle of nine A and B. It is such a wonderful day today. I'm super excited about things that are happening in the garden. If you enjoyed watching this content, give us a thumbs up. Also, hey, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it. We're gonna have a good time. Well, as always, my friends, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.